Can we do it by hand? Ah, oh, damn. Look at that. Oh, shit. Boy, oh boy. pretty good stopping point being that I have the engine out of the car oh boy let's let's kind of let's kind of touch up on some things I guess to, that, that need need the attention to be fixed let's start with the firewall so from left to right that is where the heater core comes through the firewall it's not proper it's not even grommeted and protected for the wires in case they split and then ground out on the on the chassis which that's not going to be a good thing <laughs> um the here's the wiring to the starter i don't think that's going to change much but maybe we can make sure it's routed properly so that it doesn't uh rub or melt or anything like that same with the o2 sensors um here are the ac lines that would have gone in through the car i am not using those so i'm probably going to cover those up um so i was following the instruction of the <laughs> chassis harness um I'm going to weld that shut as well as take this off and, and weld that square. And I'm just going to grommet one large wire harness to come through the firewall, you know, somewhere. But I'm not going to have that anymore. Uh, same with over here. This is where the master cylinder is. Uh, I'm probably going to just take everything apart, weld that all to be a blank canvas. And install what I need because obviously I don't need too particularly much right because I'm going to get rid of the pedal assembly that's under the dash and so I'm going to have a uh, master cylinders out here and a more traditional pedal assembly so I'm not going to need those holes but except the ones that mount the pedal mount the master cylinder and need the push rod to go through the firewall so that's all I'm going to need uh, so all that's going to be sealed up you're not I'm not going to have all these Tubing's all loop de lewd right here as well. After that's all getting sorted, um, I'm going to think about relocating this fuel line because I am going to work rework the fuel lines to uh, to be a little bit better than what they are now. Because one, they're all dash six. Two, it uh, you know as you can see, it kind of runs real close to where the headers would go. So I'm going to see if I can remedy that with uh maybe routing them maybe in a better better way um yeah so and then here's a bunch of swiss cheese you know from just trying to figure things out as i built this car um these are all the power steering lines that's probably going to be reconfigured to be a little bit better um i'm kind of happy with where these reservoirs are the radiator's fine uh, the PCM, I think I'm going to relocate this. I think I'm going to relocate all the wiring into the cabin of the car. I think that's probably the, the smartest way. It's been doing fine here, but just to clean up the engine bay, that uh, catch can might move. Um, but yeah, just, just need to, to clean all this up. The next thing is, I don't know if you can see it, it's going to be pretty hard. I need to rework the transmission tunnel so that it's nice and solid. Um... Because right now it's just kind of a cover over a real big hole that I cut. Um, I, I need to I need I need to address that because heat gets in real easily and it's it's just not a good thing. So that's gonna get fixed as well. Um, down here, might be able to see it now. There's a little bit of relief cut that I put into the cross member to allow access for this uh, Flaming River uh, steering column. 
I need to kind of seal that up because I have a little, little tiny hole. So I'm probably gonna cut a little bit more into it and then plate it off. Then as I've kind of gotten everything taken care of, polished up, holes filled in, probably just gonna get a nice simple recoat of the whole engine bay just to simplify some things and take care of that. And so that's pretty much the plan. That's why the engine is out of the car. And we can install this um, Hydro Boost unit right over there. Um, there probably is gonna be some trial fit. So that engine's probably gonna be in and out of the car, you know, regularly, you know, just to make sure things fit for when we kind of put put this all together for the final time. So I talked to the drive shaft shop. Um, I have shipped out the little conversion plate that goes on the end of the transmission. So the drive shaft is basically in the process of being ordered slash being made. Um, these are just exhaust tips, they're fine. <laughs> transmission, so this guy right here, um, we're gonna take a road trip to Dallas, Texas come Tuesday. So that uh, I'm gonna try and make sure I drop this off first thing in the morning. So I'll be leaving Houston super duper early in the morning so that I can get to Texas Drivetrain Performance right when they open up. That way, hopefully I can get on video and then as well as we could see if what else is damaged, if there is anything damaged other than the suspected synchros. But for the most part, we got all the boxes, all the parts bagged up nuts, bolts bagged up, everything's organized, you know, the way it should be. The engine, you know, might get cleaned up for the most part, but but the engine's fine. But uh, other than that, I'm, I'm pretty happy to do this. Oh, one more thing. So let's talk about the interior. So like I talked about the harness, yeah, actually, start over at the harness. So like I talked about the harness, this thing melted. Let me see if you can see it. But yeah, look right there. The freaking thing melted. It's it's coming apart. The wiring is super, super stiff and crispy. Um, and that's because the wiring, uh, when I ordered it, it was kind of it was a little bit of on, on me. From, you know, when I ordered, I did not order the proper sizing for a 170 amp alternator. Um, other than that. Uh, yeah, there's gonna be a lot taken apart. The dash will be taken apart. The gauges will be popped out. I have to, I have to work. So, like I said, the transmission tunnel needs to be redone. Uh, but I'm going to make sure there's a, a very uh, roomy access panel right over here, so that I can work the shifter, install it, and there will be no problems with me, you know, doing anything like that or manipulating the shifter, taking it on off maintenance in it if i need to maintenance it or, or whichever but as you can see um when we ripped off the shifter mount from the body it you know we, we i gotta repair that but um the pedals they're gonna go uh, see you later uh, i will not be using them again uh but the wire harness throughout the car will be carefully removed because i will be rewiring the body of the car uh, I just don't, I don't trust, I don't trust that, that wiring anymore. So, um, so I'm just going to make sure I rewire it. I'm going to make sure I take it slow, make sure it's a good quality installation. And, uh, and then for the most part, it'll, it'll be, it, it'll give me all the warm and fuzzies for when we get the car back to running again. So, all right. And, uh, that's going to be it for this upload. I appreciate you watching. Thank you again, and uh, stay tuned for the next step to the table.